Protea are tough evergreen plants that are native to South Africa. They come in shrub and tree forms and are hardy in zones 9 to 12. They produce striking goblet-shaped flowers that are popularly used in bouquets or placed in vases. In their native habitat, proteas bloom in the months of June to October which is the winter season in the Southern Hemisphere. When planted in the warmer zones of the Northern Hemisphere, they will generally bloom from November to January. Since proteas are adapted to the harsh conditions of their native habitat, try to mimic their natural growing conditions in the garden. Grow them in well-draining, sandy nutrient-poor, acidic soil. Plant them in a location that gets full sun with lots of air circulation. The more sunshine they get the more flowers they produce. Proteas rarely succeed in clay soil and humid zones. Water them regularly during the first two years from when they were planted. But once they are established, water them only once a week when they are in bud and flower or during dry spells. Fertilizing is generally not necessary and many fertilizers can be detrimental to their survival. Apply coarse mulch such as bark or wood chips but make sure to keep them away from the trunk. To help acidify the soil, mulch with pine bark and pine needles. Avoid digging around the plant as they do not like their roots to be disturbed. Pruning the tips of the young plants during spring or late summer will encourage bushier growth. When it comes to mature plants, prune them regularly by harvesting the flowers and cutting weak and damaged stems as this will improve the overall health of the plant and encourage more blooms. Proteas bloom on unflowered stems during the season so only prune the flowered stems. All parts of the protea plant are toxic if ingested so keep them away from children and pets. Protea blooms produce large amounts of nectar which attract birds and insects. The flowers retain their color when dried so they are perfect addition to wreaths and dried floral arrangements. Thank you for watching.